So today I'm gonna talk about configuring log for a library or a package if you like. Uh, when you're writing a package, you probably you're developing and then at some point you're gonna write some logging to debug or have some warnings or a critical message uh, of whatever the code is doing. And that's pretty good. But sometimes a person, some, some, some aspects you don't want to print the output, some things you want, some things you don't want. Uh, and then the question is, uh, what's the best practice uh, for configuring logging a library? Ideally, you don't want to propagate your logs from your package to someone using your package. And then in my view, ideally, the person running the program should decide what, how, what's the log level uh, they want to be propagated coming from the library. So, and the way uh, it's done. So when you set up the log in your package, you add the handler, like a no handler, which is a do nothing handler. I'll demonstrate here in VS Code. I have the, uh, the simplest package here with just one module. The package, for lack of a better name, is called my package, and the module is called module. And then I have a, a function here that do something which is pretty much like log, uh, debug info, warning, error, and critical in the order of severity from top to bottom. So pretty much uh, if, I have a pro if I have a program that's importing that module from the package and I'm just gonna execute that function. So as a default, um, what's gonna happen is I do my program. So that's gonna, propagate the default which is warning and above so everything warning error and critical error are going to be propagated in order to stop this you have to add this logging no handler so which just adding this line here and then if i do that again so all the logging will be muted Let's say I want it as a person important that module. I want to know what's in that logger. Uh, and then I want to just set the level. So the way you do it is this. You're just gonna normally do your, your logging. Sorry, you have to import logging. And then you do, let's do a basic config here. Yeah, I'm just also gonna add um, level name here. And then, so I'm just gonna add level name here, which is good to the format of the logger. It's gonna print out like better than this here, uh, which is good for just write to file and stuff. So I can also, oh, let's do just the, yeah, that's gonna log just the library because it's debugged, it's gonna show everything. Let's run the program again. So can you see my debug info warning critical, it's all logging. So, but that, let's say I wanted to just say, I wanna just see, I just wanted to see the critical. It's gonna be only one. Yeah, but let's say that I also wanted to log my program logging. So, and then that's the one that's creating here. And at, at, after the module, I'm just gonna do, a, let's do a debug. And I'll do a critical as well. So if I do critical, it's gonna be two message maybe. Yeah, so one of each. So, but that one is coming from the root. And if I go back to, let's say debug, and that's gonna be everything. So pretty much that's it. So just to finalize the video, I'm just gonna add um, a file handler. So I'm just gonna add those lines here. 
So I'm just setting a formatter and then I can pretty much copy this one. And I'm gonna call this log uh, file like my program.log. And I'm gonna set the handler level to debug and I'm just add the formatter to the file handler. Um, I'm just gonna add the file handler to the log, to this log and also add to the handler the one coming from the library, which is this line. And then if I do that, so if I run that, so I have everything on my program log here and debug info, and then it's gonna tell if that's root or come from a package. All right, guys, I think that's it. Uh, that was gonna be pretty quick. I'm gonna to put the below um, on the description. So this link here for the uh, Python um, opinion and recommendation for configuring logging to a library, as well as my GitHub with these code snippets. And that's it. So if you have any comments, please comment down below. Or if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, click the bell to receive notification and like the video. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.